Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and in this video we're going to take a look at the Flyfire Manti 3 which was sent to me from Zbanks on behalf of Flyfire. Zbanks is like a marketing company or something. So that's what we're going to test out today. Does it work? Is it trash? Will it fail? Will I lose my drone and just everything will break? Well, stick around until the end of the video because oh man, what? Come on, man. They, now they now they saw everything. Now they're going to leave. Okay. All right. Uh, excuse me one second. I'm going to go fire my editor, and I'll be right back. Okay. Well, now you know it works. So it does work. There you go. Bottom line up front, it does work. Uh, it actually is pretty impressive, really. It works pretty much exactly as advertised. So if you are looking for a parachute to go on your DJI drone, like the Mavic Air 2 or the Air 2S or the Mavic 3, etc. Honestly, this seems like a really great option. Uh, we'll talk more about the downsides and upsides of having a parachute, but first, I just want to kind of give you the specs and some of the some of the basic information. So let's talk about cost. Uh, this is going to set you back a pretty penny, but the idea is that uh, it doesn't cost as much as replacing your drone. And they have an option to 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 give you uh, like a spare parachute. I think they call it dual parachute, which sounds like two parachutes, like you know, coming out of there, but it's actually just like a spare parachute, I think. So 175 for the single parachute and then 250 for that uh, spare parachute bundle. The Manti 3 Plus has a larger parachute, so it will, um, it allows you to use heavier drones or just have a softer landing on lighter drones. However, it does weigh a bit more. Uh, and my Manti 3 Plus that I tested out with the longer strap, it comes with two straps, uh, weighs 73 grams. Now you'll notice I am not using a DJI drone like the, the Mavic Air 2S, which is the largest uh, DJI drone that I have right now. And the reason for that is one is I don't, you know, didn't fully trust this product. So why would I put that up in the air? Of course, ironically, I actually have more money uh, up in the air right now. Um, but the reason why I did that is so I could strap all these different cameras to the FPV drone. And if it doesn't work, uh, I'm less likely to break my drone. It would probably be fine falling from that height onto a soft field. The all up weight for my test rig is 894 grams, which is just below the listed weight of the Mavic 3, which is about 899 grams. For reference, the Mavic Air 2 weighs 570 grams, Mavic 2 Pro is 905 grams, and the Phantom 4 Pro V2, which do people still use that, weighs 1300, or excuse me, 1375 grams. So as you can see, this parachute was plenty big, like really oversized for this weight of a drone. But at the same time, that just means for like a cushier landing. So, but it does come with the cost of weighing a little bit more. So during flight, when you're not ever using the parachute, it's gonna be a little bit more of a toll. So really, you really kind of want to have that balance of like as little parachute as possible. Ooh, this is very silky. This is like, this is like something you'd find at REI. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. I'll tell you what does not work well on this thing, is not as advertised, is the beeper. The beeper is actually pretty darn quiet. It, it definitely d doesn't seem like 80 decibels. It's much, much quieter than a V-Fly Finder type of beeper. And I'm not sure if it's any louder than the Find My Drone, you know, uh, you know, onboard beeper that you can do with the drone. I don't know if that is any louder, but if you are out of drone battery power, then which maybe that's why you crash, let's say, um, then that beeper wouldn't help anyway. So this beeper is definitely better than nothing, but it's uh, pretty mediocre. Now, another really important thing to know about the parachute is that it does have its own battery and you have to remember to turn the parachute on since this is just something we're strapping to the drone. It's not integrated into the drone's flight controller or anything like that. So uh, you definitely want to remember, like you're going to have to make that part of your kind of your checklist, your pre-flight stuff is to turn on the parachute because that would be very, very bad and embarrassing. Your drone falling out of the sky and you're like, oh, the parachute will just save it. And then it does not save it and you're the one to blame for that, and that would not be fun. So you have to remember to turn the parachute on when you actually use the thing. So and before that, you have to make sure that it is charged. Now they say it has a 150 milliamp hour battery, 
which is hours. supposed to last for like six 30 minute flights is kind of what they're saying which obviously that's going to you know vary on your temperature and all the stuff like that that's another thing you have to remember when you're prepping all your gear is you got to charge up your parachute which that sounds like a funny word to say isn't it amazing we are living in the future you have to charge up your parachute i did find the kind of user interface of the parachute a little bit tricky uh with that you know have you just tap the USB C port to t like turn it on that's not too bad in terms of charging, it was a little tricky. It seems like sometimes it, it sure thought that I wanted to turn on the drone because I was touching it with the USB charger. You have to kind of fiddle with it, but eventually it would you know, start charging and that worked out fine. And just in case you're curious, here's a shot of what it looks like coming out of the box. This is how mine was. And again, this is the Manti 3 Plus with the dual parachute option. So basically just an, a spare parachute in there that you can swap out. I will say this parachute is actually very, it's very streamlined. Like it's the fit and finish is really good. The color matches the uh, Mavic Air 2 like perfectly. And here's, you know, obviously what it looks like if you're going to put it on a Mavic Air 2, which is what this is, you know, designed for. It's not really designed for FPV drones. I might test this out more in the future to see if this would work on FPV drones. Okay, let's talk about some pros and cons just in case you're thinking about getting a parachute for your drone. So one advantage, or well, obviously the advantage of this is your drone doesn't smash into the ground, you know? And so for me, um, since I, since I'm, I can repair drones and, and I'm kind of used to like that kind of thing, you know, um, like crashing stuff, I guess. Uh, that's not as, a, as much of a concern for me. And obviously this is like a last resort thing. You don't want to be like, oh, well, if I run out of battery, I'll just, you know, use the parachute. Like, you don't, you don't want to do that. Definitely, I could see this for some risk mitigation or kind of the liability mitigation if you are flying in a more populated area or maybe just over something that you don't want to uh, a, a, you know, break or, or, you know, if you want a softer landing on your drone, like there's a lot of reasons why you'd want this. Now, an important point is that this definitely makes it safer when it's falling. However, it does not make it, uh, legal or a good idea to fly over, um, people or any place where you could, you know, potentially damage something if your drone does fall out of the sky, even with a parachute. And there are certain times when you would definitely not want to use a parachute. Maybe you're flying really windy conditions. And if your parachute deploys, I mean, obviously you're in a bad situation already if your parachute deploys, but then maybe it floats away to somewhere where you can't get it, or it floats into some power lines, or really just, it could, it could drift anywhere, uh, anywhere the wind will take it. So you gotta keep that in mind that like potentially you could be in a worse off situation having the parachute deploy. Now, obviously, if we're talking about, you know, the safety of people, that's gonna come first over the drone. So if it if it uh, is more likely to be less of a uh, potential risk towards people by having the parachute, then by all means, strap that baby on there. I'll see with Adam, building stuff, flying stuff, crashing stuff, learning stuff, having a good time.